Okay, everybody, so by now you have a working Shiny app. Uh, everything is running locally on your machine. And so the question is, how do you deploy this app? How do you share it with your users? The idea behind developing a Shiny app is that it's gonna be a web-based interactive application uh, so that your user can access it via the web. Um, so there are a few ways of deploying your app to the web using our Shiny. Uh, we're just gonna talk about one of them because it's the easiest starting out and that is how to publish your app to shinyapps.io. Uh, I also uh, wanna alert you to the fact that there's a version of Shiny in Python called Shiny Live where you don't have to host it, where your user's browser can run all the code, but A, that has some capacity limitations. Your app can only be a certain size and B, it's not available for our Shiny yet. So we're gonna be working with shinyapps.io. We're also gonna talk about how to share your app with other uh, collaborators, um, how to share your code specifically. You could email it to them as a compressed file, as a zip file, or you can also share your code via GitHub. And then the last thing we're gonna cover in this lesson is how to record your environment so that when you have updated packages for a newer app or a newer project, it doesn't break your older app. Because oftentimes when you go back to work on an old application, uh, it can break if you have newer versions of the packages uh, installed that were not available when you first coded up your app. So we'll talk about how to preserve your environment uh, so that you can go back and work on the app or that anybody can go back and reproduce your work using the versions of the packages that you uh, use to develop the app yourself. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go to shinyapps.io and you're gonna sign up for a free account. I've already done that, but you can go through the process of doing that and you shouldn't need more than the free version uh, for the project for this course, but if you wanna sign up for a more expensive uh, subscription or package, you're free to do that as well. Um, and then you're gonna go and log in once you have your account. Uh, and you're gonna go to your dashboard and it's gonna look, uh, well, let me go ahead and log in here. And when you log in, it's gonna look something like this, except you won't have any applications um, the part you're going to be uh, concerned about initially is you want to go to account and you want to go to tokens, all right? And you won't have any tokens set up here, but so you want to add a token. And then once you have a token, you want to hit show token, and then you want to hit show secret. I'm not going to do that, but you want to press show secret and then copy to clipboard, okay? And once you have your token copied to your clipboard, you can go over to uh, our studio. And here I have the code for the Fred line chart app that we developed earlier in the co course. Uh, but what you wanna do from here is you wanna go to tools, you wanna go to global options, you want to go um, to publishing, uh, you wanna hit connect, you want to select then shinyapps.io. Okay, and then from here, what you want to do is you want to copy what you have on the clipboard into this field here and hit connect account. And that should set you up to publish uh, your app on shinyapps.io. Okay, I'm not going to do that here because I've already done that. I'm just going to cancel out of this. And then when you come back here, then you should see a little icon that says publish the application or document. So you wanna uh, press that. And then from there, you wanna select which files you want to publish. And you may not need all of the files in your folder. Like if you have some sort of code here that you use to wrangle your data that's not really being used by your app.r file um, or other ancillary files, you don't need to upload that. You just need to make sure that you have the app.r file, any helper files, or if you have some data that the app is gonna use in a CSV file, you wanna upload that as well. 
Then you're going to select a title for your app and you're going to hit publish and that should publish the app to shinyapps.io. Alright. Uh, I'm not going to do that here because I've already published this application. Um, so uh, I'm just going to hit cancel here and I'm going to go back to shinyapps.io and if I go to my dashboard then you'll see the Fred app here that I published earlier. It's currently sleeping because nobody's used it recently, but if you click on that, then you should be able to see, you know, the application usage and all that type of thing. All right, and then you can click on the URL and then you'll see the URL for your app. And then if you click on that, it should display the app and that's how you know you're good to go. Um, all right, so this is the Fred Data app that we developed earlier in the course. Okay, and everything's working, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so from here, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to copy this URL and you can share it with a course in the Discord, or if you're feeling shy, you can just direct message me in Discord with this, and then um, the link to your video. Uh, if you're making a video to, you know, tell people about your app. All right. Um, okay. So the next thing I want to talk about is how do you share your code with, uh, with your collaborators? One idea is you can just zip the project file that you've been working in. So um, if we go back to our Fred app, right? So this file here for the Fred app, um, you could just zip that and you could send that to a collaborator via email and if they have Shiny installed on their machine um, and assuming you're all working with the same versions of the packages that you have installed and it's all very recent, um, they should be able to just run it. Okay, So that's one option. They can just hit run app um, or they can use the run app uh, function uh, to, to run the app on their machine. Um, another option is to share your code via GitHub. Um, so you should have some familiarity with this because uh, we've been doing it throughout the course. We've been using GitHub Classroom. But what if you want to feature the app as one of the repositories in your GitHub profile? So let me go ahead and uh, go back to my web browser here. And here I'm in my GitHub account. I'm uh, at my GitHub profile, uh, github.com slash etitlebong. Uh, I can click on repositories here or I can go to this icon with my picture and my uh, username and I can select on my repositories. And then from there, if I want to create a new re repo, I just hit new. Um, and then I can name my repo whatever I want. So I'll just put uh, Fred our app, right, uh, for this app that we've already developed. Uh, and I can put an optional des description here. I'm going to skip that for now and I'm going to hit create, create repository. And then this part should look familiar to you. Um, so this is the URL for the repo that you just created. So you just copy this and then you go back to our studio. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create, although we already have a project folder for this, if you want to share it on GitHub, I think the easiest way is just to create a new repo like we just did and transfer everything over to that repo, right? So from here, you would just hit new project and it's going to close out of the old one. Then you select version control, then git, and then your repository URL create project. Okay, and so from here what we want to do is we want to transfer our files from the old project, the essential files from the old project folder into this one. Uh, so we can navigate here to the old project folder. So the old one is Fred app, the new one is Fred R app, right? So Fred R app doesn't have the essential files in it, this one does. So what we want to do now is we want to uh, transfer these files to the new folder. And 
We're just going to do this one at a time because we only have two files here, but if we had a large number of files, we want to open up File Explorer or Finder and transfer them that way. But since we only have two files, we can, uh, we can, we can copy them. Um, and so our destination is going to be this new Fred at our app folder. So let's go ahead and copy to there. And we're going to save. And we're going to do the same thing with this one. Copy to. And again, our destination is going to be here, the Fred R app folder. Let's save. Okay. Um, and if we were to try, let's just go ahead and try for a second to copy two of them, then we're going to get an error that says, please select a single, single file or folder to copy. So that's why we have to do it one at a time. Okay. So, so that's done. So now we have our, uh, our files. Let's go back to the Fred R app folder. Now we have the relevant files there. We're in the right project, right? And now if we go to our Git um, tab here, uh, because it's a version control uh, project, uh, we see the updated, the updated files here, okay? And so from here, uh, what we can do is we can go ahead and stage these and then commit them. And then we can have a commit message, initial commit for Fred line app. And then we'll hit commit. Okay, it looks like that worked. And should be able to push now. All right, and now we've pushed the changes. And let's go ahead and look back in our repo here. And now we see that our um, our changes have uh, have appeared in the GitHub repo, and so now our files are public. So if we want to share these, um, we now have this as a repo on our uh, in our GitHub profile um, that we can refer people to who want to see the code for our app. Okay. Okay. So the last thing I want to cover here is how to uh, preserve your environment or how to record your environment. So the next time you go back and you have updated pack updated versions of the packages, it doesn't break the code for this app. Okay, so to do this, we're gonna use a package called rnv. Okay, um, I think that's how it's pronounced, rnv, R-E-N-V. Um, and uh, it's pretty simple once you have the package installed. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna type R-E-N-V colon colon init to initialize um, rnv uh, in this repo. And here it's going to go through your packages and discover all the dependencies. And then essentially what it's going to do is it's going to create a private library for this project, right? That is like a standalone library so that if you update packages, um, for other projects, it's not going to affect the versions of the packages in this project. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so now you can see it's created this rnv.lock file and this rnv folder. And if you click on the folder, you see here this private library that I was talking about here. And then it tells you that it was created in R4.3, version 4.3. And then if you click on this, folder, then it tells you all of the packages and dependencies that were used to create your app, uh, many of which you were probably not even aware of. All right. Um, so then what you do is if you want to uh, continue to develop the app, um, then you can do that. And then, but once this is initialized, the next time that you want to update it and you want to you know, update this private library, uh, what you would type is rn, r, rn 
colon colon snapshot okay and that will just give you a list of all of the uh, packages and the versions um, and it's not going to do it now because it's already up to date but say you were to develop it further then it would give you the same it would do the same thing and it would ask you is that okay are these the versions of the packages that you want to preserve yes or no and then you would hit yes assuming you're okay with everything and then would it update you know this private library for you um, and then if you uh, come back to the app later on and you update something and it breaks your code then you can use rn colon colon restore and it'll restore everything back to the previous version of the private library that worked okay so pretty cool package if you're going to be developing uh, apps um, or actually for just about any project that you're working on this could be useful if you're going to be using it over time because when packages update it does break stuff okay so that's all uh, there is for this lesson um, you should have a pretty good idea of how to publish your app on shinyapps.io, how to share your code with collaborators via email or on GitHub, um, and how to preserve your R environment uh, should you want to continue to develop this app or other apps uh, after this course. Good luck uh, with your project.